Hey guys, Sash Codes here, and today I'm going to show you how you can factory reset your Samsung Galaxy Ace GTS 5830 phone in two ways. So the first way is to do so by the system recovery way, while the other is to do so via the settings. To do it by the system recovery way, first you need to power off your phone. Then, after you feel a buzz and you see these two lights go off, then you try to power it on and you click this side power button and the home button at the same time and hold it until it powers on. Keep on holding it until you see a screen where they start running this console lock. Yeah, here you see you should see this console thing and it should read system recovery on the top. So what you need to do is here you need to go to use the volume buttons to go down to wipe data slash factory reset button. And then you press the home button. Now you see a bunch of no's and one yes, delete all user data. So all these no's are just to make sure that you don't accidentally wipe off all your user data and you go to the exact correct one. So just scroll down all the way to yes and press this button. And you'll see it say wiping data formatting and blah blah blah. And then you'll say data wipe complete. And all you need to do from now is reboot system. And yeah. So right now it would reboot and switch on your phone and this time round it would take a longer than usual time and don't worry and just be patient and wait so after a while you should come to this screen it says use google location or maybe yours is different but just, con just click OK and change whatever settings you want and you should come to this screen and you would note that the wallpaper is different and the default apps that come in the front is different too. So yeah, this proves that it's factory set and let's jump to the second way. So the second way to do this is via the settings. As you can see, the background is now different as I have just changed it. So go to settings, um, go to settings, and scroll all the way down until you see privacy. Then click on it and you should see privacy settings. And below on the most bottom, you should see this option called factory data reset. Click on it and it should say reset phone. Then click on it and erase everything. Now this phone will reboot and you should see the exact same page, uh, you should see the exact same commands as just now and you will see in a while. So let it boot up and, and yeah the usual booting screen and you should see the screen once again. You see it says rebooting and yeah. So basically the main difference between the first way which is by the system recovery way and this way is that the first way um, it allows you to have it's basically more options and but um, that way you have to man uh, maneuver to the option yourself but via this way you can just do click one button and let the phone do it all its work however I still prefer the first way as I just like to see those words as they look just cool so yeah so from here once again it would take a longer time than usual to boot up and this is perfectly normal don't worry and we will see in a while okay now you will feel a vibration and it will show that the phone is 
factory reset it to its factory settings so yeah so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you do remember to like and subscribe and yeah do check out my other videos and thanks for watching